Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Diane and thank you for coming back to Blessed in the Country. So I'm so excited because today I'm going to be doing a review of my brand new dishwasher. It's a Maytag and I just wanted to share with you all in case you're looking for a dishwasher. just want to show some of the features on it and I hope you'll enjoy this video and it'll help you make a decision as well or at least give you some ideas of what you may want um to be looking for all right so let's get started here we go okay so here's the front view of it um as you can see the sticker on it says it has a 10-year limited warranty um it had two stickers on it one came off easily this one i think either has to remain on there or i need to figure out if i can remove it I'm not too worried about it it's fine but if i can remove it i will the clean um emblem that's on there that was mine it was on my old dishwasher so it did not come with it i just want you to know it did not come with it um so i just stuck it on there and it works perfect so let's get a little bit closer to it i want to show you what it says so it does say that it's a 10-year limited parts warranty and it has uh racks this is three racks in this dishwasher yay and it has a chopper blade and it's a stainless steel tub. This also, as I pan out, is finger resistant. It's stainless steel on the inside. I have some dishes that are in there that have been washed. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. Um, so you can see what it looks like on the inside. Then I'm going to remove the dishes and I'm going to walk you through uh, the features. Okay, this is um, the dishes that we have in there. From last night's dinner, um, I started removing some of them so it's not completely full. Uh, but then I decided I'd leave them in there so you could see uh, what it looks like. And then I'm going to take them all out. Here's a view of the bottom rack. You see the basket? We're going to talk about that in depth. Here's a view of the second rack. And then here's a view of the third rack. So I'm going to take everything out, or just about everything out, and then I'm going to show you all the racks separately. Here's a view of the inside of the um, bottom of it, um, completely dry. You see the spray arm there, um, the heating um, element to help dry it. It also has a fan element that goes that um, blows it dry as well. So it heats and it blows dry. This is what the bottom rack looks like. Um, I left the plate in there and some silverware, but we're going to go on up to the second row. And here's the second row. Uh, the second row is an adjustable shelf. You have this Maytag little emblem here. It's going to come with uh, some clear blue plastic over top of it. Just remove it. That's on the second and the third shelf. Just remove that before you start it. So here's the third rack. And on the third rack, there is um, a basket or another little basket or long basket let me turn it this way so you can see it and there it is and let's get up close to it i want you to see so on it there's a little picture of spoons and forks and it tells you that they can go here but i've put some knives up um here as well but i want to make sure you, you know that when you place your spoons let me show you if you put your spoons up here, and may as well do forks too, you need to turn them over like this because if you have them uh, upright like this, water will pool right here. Um, and um, it will dry, but it'll leave a little uh, ring. So make sure you turn them uh, down and let them wash if you put them here. But I want to let you know that there's more than enough room to put your uh, spoons and forks here. I'll get down a little bit closer. 
I want you to see that there's different sizes in the slots. This is a small slot, and then these are longer slots. So if you have um, a spoon, it's a little bit wider, that would go in there. This basket here is for uh, bigger utensils that you want to put. There's one on either side, but this basket also does something else. All right, so I tilted the basket over and I wanted to show you that it is stainless steel on both sides of the basket, which is really, really nice. And then also, um, it has this feature. You kind of just lift up on it and pull it out. And I'm going to show that to you a wide shot. Just get that adjusted. There we go. And so both of them come off on both sides. You just pull it up and slide it back and it comes off. So there's room to put um, even more bigger utensils there if you need to. As I said, both of them come off and then you just slide it back on. Let's see if I can try to slide it back on so you can see. Here we go. And it just slides back on and snaps in place. So I thought that was really, really neat. Okay, so here's the second row. Um, like I said, the second row is adjustable. So on both sides of the shelf, you have these buttons. One on this side and one on this side. Um, I, I can't do it right now, but you push both of these in at the same time. And then it raises the rack up. So it'll raise it up, I want to say about an inch maybe an inch and a half so you can get some taller pots down in the bottom so before we go to the third row i want to show you so you can see again there is the bottom sprayer um turns very good and then on the second row there's another sprayer a spray arm i'm sorry and there it is and as you can see it has holes in the top, so it's shooting water up on the second row, as well as shooting water down on the first row. So your dishes um, on this rack is getting it from underneath and above. And then the third rack also has a baby sprayer. I don't know if I can get in there to show that to you, but there is a... Uh, top sprayer located on the top of the machine and it sprays down on top of this rack as well as it sprays into this one. So what's happening is, is when you put your glasses and um, this is the row that you would put your uh, glasses on, it's spraying it directly because it kind of slants. It sprays it directly into those glasses so it cleans very well. On the third rack, this is where um, it shows you in the diagram that you would put your cups. Let me back up so you can see it. You would put your cups and bowls. So here's our slot for our detergent. Uh, you'd put your little pod here and then just snap that closed. And, and there's a little pre-wash right here if you're using liquid. You can put that in um, before it starts. Here's where your rinse aid goes. That just that just pulls up, and your rinse aid is in here. All right, here is the inside panel um, of the operational board, and this is from going from left to right. It's Maytag dual paddle filtration and Power Blast Auto normal quick rinse. And it has short and long dry times, start, and cancel. Anytime you hit cancel, it automatically drains the tub. This also has a leak detection on it, which is one of the reasons why we had to get another dishwasher. We didn't just buy one. Uh, we needed to get another one. I was, was like 15 years old, so we needed to get another one because it was leaking. It had leaked before a couple of times, but we had always fixed it. But it just seemed like this time it was more than what we wanted to deal with. All right. So if I hit uh, cycle, it's going to go to normal. 
2 hours and 53 seconds. Um, then you have a normal wash. Then you have a quick wash, which is an hour and 10 minutes. I have used this before on dishes that were not really dirty, and still it did a great job. And then you have rinse. If you want to just rinse your dishes, that's 23 minutes, although I don't know why I may use it. I was thinking about it the other day. Maybe if I had Christmas dishes put up and I wanted to just rinse them and dry them, I don't know. But I don't know why I would use it. And then if you hit it again, then it goes to power blast. This um, feature is for if you have really baked on, stuck on dishes, uh, dried on food, you can use that, but it goes for a whole three hours and 20. So lastly, the last thing I want to show you is that if there's also a delay feature on it, so you would just hit cycle and push delay and it's going to start counting up how many hours you can actually delay it from starting. So there's one hour, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It goes all the way up to 24 hours. So it would delay washing up to a whole day if that's something that you feel like you might need to do. Okay, so that's just a nice feature on there too as well or added bonus if you need it. So I'm going to cancel that out. So, all in all, I love it. She's a workhorse. Um, I've enjoyed the fact that I can pull my dishes out. And especially with my pots, I've noticed um, with my old dishwasher, um, I guess it's got like a little starch, little white stuff that's in the bottom of it. If you um, do maybe like um, beans or something like that in it, and it's a little starch with this, you don't get it. Um, so again, we bought this out of necessity. Because the old dishwasher washer was leaking and we just didn't, we, we've gotten old and we didn't want to deal with trying to repair that. So we ordered it, the plumber came in, he put it in, leveled it and did everything. It was just perfect. So we're just so thankful for it. Uh, so we will be updating the rest of our appliances because we um, originally had black appliances, but we're going to go to the stainless steel. Um, again, this is a Maytag. Uh, I do also want to let you know that Whirlpool also is on the same line as the Maytag. In fact, Maytag box Whirlpool out. So this version also comes um, in a Whirlpool. <clears throat> it's the, exactly the same on the inside. I mean, when you put them side by side and look at them, they're exactly the same. The Whirlpool is a third rack. You can get, a you know, just two racks traditionally. Um, but I wanted to just update and get the third rack. And I'm so glad I did. I always tell people that I have a manual dishwasher and an automatic dishwasher, and he is both of them. So uh, I'm just so thankful and grateful to be able to share this review with you. I hope that it has helped you to kind of come to terms with what you may be needing or looking for in a dishwasher, or just give you some kind of ideas. I looked at all from the most expensive to the least expensive and really took my time and trying to find um, the right one, the one that I wanted, that would be a good fit uh, for me, for what I need. But you do the same thing for you, but I would recommend this. Um, it is 44 decimals, which means it is very, very quiet. You can barely hear it. I mean, I just want to say thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Blessed in the country, and truly, I am blessed, me and my husband. And I want you to have a blessed day. And remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that when I put up another video, you'll be able to uh, click on it and watch it. Thank you so much. Be blessed. I love you.